I'm a goddess. I'm worthy of the absolute best. Magnetism, confidence, beauty, it's all an inside job. How do you magnetize that drive? If you didn't have the passion, you would have nothing pulling you forward and you would have no starting point. So the fact that you're feeling the tug of what you're labeling as depression, which I'm labeling as unfulfilled potential, is good. Hey guys, I am Angela Jean, and if you are new to my channel, I teach step-by-step -step methods on how to sculpt your mind to shape your reality. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys five one-minute fixes to magnetize yourself from the inside out. So the different steps I'm going to be showing you are definitely going to evoke a feeling, but just so you know ahead of time, it's going to evoke an uncomfortable feeling. I have put myself through this method and that's how I know that sometimes you have to become a better version of yourself to get what you want. So the different things I'm going to be showing you are going to make you feel uncomfortable because it's a version of yourself that you have not been yet, but it's a version of yourself that you need to become to get what you want. Step one is obviously shifting your thought patterns. You have to connect and redirect them because you, until you can get out in front of them, until you can catch the thoughts that are telling you you won't, you can't, you'll never, nothing's going to change. And affirmations don't work because your mind calls bullshit on it. That's why you have to prime your mind in different ways to anchor the data. I do this by creating rhythmic affirmations, which is what I opened the video with. I'm putting a link in the description box below. Start small and build. That's a one minute mental reboot. Anytime you're feeling any lack, you have to brainwash yourself that you are worthy of the absolute best, that you unapologetically embrace that truth. You're a goddess. You're worthy of the absolute best. Promise you, if you keep feeding it, keep feeding it, keep force feeding, force feeding, you will reach an intersection in your mind where finally you will walk with a little bit more confidence. You will walk out the door like you got this. It will just naturally happen, but you have to stay consistent because repetition dissolves disbelief. Download it, it's for free. Number two may seem obvious, but enclosed cognition is a real thing. What enclosed cognition is, is dressing for the you that you want to be. Whenever you dress different than you normally dress, you will feel different. So if you're someone that dresses really sexy, wear a turtleneck, wear a blazer, try that different kind of sexy and watch how it attracts different people. What does the you that's with the man of her dreams dress like? What does the you that's in this successful role that she wants dress like? And start dressing that part because I promise you guys, it evokes a feeling on the inside that pulls you into the you that you need to be. You start acting, walking and talking differently just because what you see in the mirror is reflecting back a different version of you. Moving on to number three, to magnetize yourself from the inside out is elevating your vocabulary. Notice how we're elevating everything because we're rising up to the version of ourselves we wanna be. We're elevating our thoughts, we're elevating our clothing, we're elevating the words we speak. These don't have to be huge pivots. Okay, so when it comes to social situations, a way to elevate your language is very easy, but let me give you an example and I want you guys to do this. I want you to stand in the mirror, look at yourself, and do this. Pretend like you just met someone. Instead of saying, it was nice to meet you, which is average, basic, say something like, it was a pleasure connecting with you. Even the tonality changes when you say something like, it's a pleasure connecting with you. It even makes me stand a little more still, hold my head up a little more high versus the, it's nice to meet you. Something about that makes me shake my head, you know, like girl next door. -y. So that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to evoke a better version of yourself, a more sophisticated version of yourself. But this is how you can use words to elevate yourself from the inside out, to magnetize yourself, to start evoking that magnetism that people are drawn to. One more that's pretty common for social situations, instead of saying, thank you for sharing, say something like, I really appreciate your openness. See how it's so slight, so slight, but so different. And then lastly, because a lot of people have problems being assertive, if you wanna be more assertive, try switching. I'm committed to achieving this outcome versus I'll try. All right guys, so moving on to number four is understanding social situations and what you're really seeking. If you struggle socially, you may think that you wanna be popular, but I promise you guys right now, being popular and being magnetic is two totally different things. I have lived in both worlds. Being popular usually is one king bee, one queen bee, whoever it is, and everyone else in that group has watered themselves down to fit in. They're agreeable and they're controllable. Being magnetic is being surrounded by other like-minded people, where there's reciprocity, where there's motivation, innovation. It's different. Everyone brings something to the table. Everyone's voice is heard. It is a collaboration. And I promise you guys, these circles are usually smaller. So don't think that you need to seek a flock of people to be magnetic. 
magnetic. A quick step on how to know your authentic self is look to your life. When are you the most comfortable? Not trying to please anybody. That is your authentic self. So you have to figure out how to bring more of that version of you to the forefront of your interactions. If you're someone that's playful, if you're someone that's super direct, how can you incorporate that into your social circles and into your work situations? That's how you start leading a more authentic life. When they say that your vibe attracts your tribe is because the more authentic you are, the more you lead an authentic life, you will attract your people. There are a lot of people that will be super turned off by you if you're too assertive, super turned off by you if you're a little too funny. Those aren't your people. Let them fall out so that you can attract the people that get you. That's how you start magnetizing yourself. Your vibe starts to attract your tribe. If you're constantly trying to fit in, you will never stand out. And lastly, number five to magnetize yourself from the inside out is expansion. I always talk about expansion and growth. This is a muscle that has to be exercised. And sometimes the easiest way to exercise this is to go out by yourself. Because when you go out with your friends, they hold you hostage to the you that you already are because you get stuck in the same conversations. The momentum stays the same. So in another video, I'm going to show you guys how to take yourself out. If you're comfortable doing it now, what I always do, I go to any place that has a bar. Bars are always super social. You can sit there, order a drink, order an appetizer. On these nights, you're going to dress like a different version of yourself. You're going to speak like a different version of yourself. You understand what we're doing here? We're exercising the avatar of the role that you want to be. I promise you guys this will empower you, but it is also the hardest part. If you are not used to going out by yourself, it's going to be a little nerve wracking. But if you can embody the you that you want to be and sit there as the you you want to be, speak, talk, walk like that person, it's going to pull you forward. It's going to start magnetizing you and showing you how people People respond to the different versions of you so it's an exercise so you can actually test this stuff in motion all right you guys hopefully that was helpful five one minute hacks to magnetize yourself from the inside out don't forget to download the one minute soul sync session which is used as a mindset reset anytime you're struggling with negative thought patterns because that is step one to any change all right guys don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell I'm worthy of the absolute best I accept nothing less than what honors my divinity. I'm a goddess. I'm worthy of the absolute best. I unapologetically.